Good afternoon. I want to thank everybody who joins us in Ukraine Media Center Ukraine Forum. My name is Olga Atomanova. It's day 345 of the full-scale invasion. And now we will be talking about the weather. The weather which influences all of us, which influences the way the war is going. So it's very important to us. So I want to introduce our speaker today is Natalia Ptucha, the meteorologist at Ukrainian Hydrometeorological Center. Good afternoon, Miss Natalia. Greetings. Miss Natalia, what should we wait for? We see that the January was abnormally warm. Can you give us a couple of comments? What are the consequences and what's ahead? What should we wait for in February? Well, you're absolutely right. January was abnormally warm this year and according to the calculations of our specialists it was uh, in many meteorological stations it beat all the records of the temperature indicators both during daytime and average daily at more than 150 meteorological stations in Ukraine during all the history of observations and it's about 140 years for example in Kiev the observation were started in year 1886 in January there were two powerful waves of warmth uh, one after the 3rd of January and another during uh, the period from 18 to 21st of January and both waves were as a result of the warm air coming from Africa to us so the configuration was such that this warm air was coming our way without any obstacles it transformed a little bit going through Mediterranean Sea and it still reached Ukraine and brought those high temperature indicators and there was an also anti-cyclone in Ukraine when we have uh, calm weather without precipitations, without clouds so the, no energy was spent to melt the snow so this is also contributed to the warm weather and but the negative moment is that many plants started its vegetation during this warm period because we understand that it w was only middle of winter so this may influence the agrarian complex agrarian sector of economy See if the plants started their vegetative period during this warm period it may negatively influence the development of agrarian cultures about the crops but we uh, should consult better with agricultural meteorologists in this regard but the positive thing is that there was no significant load on our power grid thanks to those abnormal abnormally warm temperatures in in January well sometimes it was even the indicators which were the highest for any January within the history of observations oh, Miss Natalia what are your forecasts for February are we going to face the winter with frost with the te temperatures way below zero or should be should we be waiting for the spring to come shortly well, it's not time to relax just yet because we already we were already feeling it this week. We've we've seen some precipitations like mixed pre precipitations like wet snow, snow with rain. But in the winter hours, we had a stable temperature below zero all across Ukraine. However, during daytime it was a little bit above zero but starting from this weekend I would like to emphasize it that the temperature is going to drop all across Ukraine and it will come to negative indicators below zero we will have temperatures below zero both during daytime and nighttime not way low below zero but 
still within the next couple of days like for example tomorrow we will have a transition day we, we will have a, a temperature below zero during daytime and a little bit above during daytime but further on we will have a temperature of about maybe zero during daytime and about minus six in the daytime and another cyclone is coming from the west which will come through our southwestern part of the country it will influence the southern parts of the country it will result in the intensification of the wind and more precipitations we ex expect more intense wind in Zakarpattia, Irvana Frankivs, Chernivtsi and Lviv regions and it will also bring more precipitations in the regions that I mentioned and so we accept, uh, expect some significant snowfall in those regions so please pay attention to that matter our specialists warn uh, about the snow hazard and avalanche hazard which is growing in Lviv and Ivano-Frankivsk regions so please abstain from hiking in the mountains because within the next couple of days we will see intensification of precipitations in those regions and even with the minor loads on the snow cover it may result in avalanche so please pay close attention to the weather and closer to the Black Sea there will be intensification of the wind on the 5th and 6th of February. Miss Natalia, just as you mentioned that thanks to the warm January, our power grid was able to save its resources to some extent. I cannot help but asking how developed and how close is the cooperation between Ukrainian Hydro, Hydro Meteorological Center with our energy technicians and our military because this is very valuable information for them which allows them planning some tactical actions of course we have cooperation with both military and energy complex obviously we shouldn't uh, talk a lot in the information space about this but we have permanent contact with the energy system we have average expectations forecasts forwarded to them so that our power technicians could efficiently plan generating cap capacity and its e efficient operation and with the military it's more like our management works with them there are certain projects but it's uh, more like a question to military hydrometeorological center because we are civil well, thank you for this information. We have questions in the studio. Good afternoon, Not Miss Natalia. My name is Svetlana, Ukraine Forum. First of all, I would like to continue this military question. Does or do, do, do the combat operations influence the weather in Ukraine? For example, the elimination of the vegetation well it's more question to ecologists or climatologists who study these problems i cannot uh, say about some significant influence significant Im impact on the processes observed by us as meteorologists meteorologists we cannot track it so far but it's better to ask climatologists the, there are certain studies in the institute of climatology how the combat operations influence the fire conditions uh, for example when there is harvest in summer uh, during extended dry period and shellings that may result in fire so there are studies which investigate whether the fires erupted due to the combat operations or due to the natural conditions so it's question more to the 
climatologists because we act more as operative meteorologists uh, our duty is the forecast for the short period like we synoptics we work 24 7 we analyze and monitor the situation of the in the weather fronts which may influence the circumstances the life in ukraine miss natalia the last question should we be waiting for the early spring there are no still official forecasts we will see maybe within a week or two but i personally may say that february will be intensive in terms of a temperature drop and frost coming back so we should probably not expect for the early spring but we will be able to share the forecast for the spring within a week or two thank you for sharing this information dear colleagues i'm reminding you joining us was natalia ptuha the meteorologist at the hydro meteorological center of ukraine our team is preparing on the schedule for the next week so bear with us follow our announcements trust in our armed forces and work together for the victory glory to ukraine